from the heart of Plymouth City, Mel Norton's Trick of the Week. It's Saturday the 28th of February 2016 and it's time for Mal Norton's Trick of the Week. Trick of the Week! And <laughs> what have we got this week, Chair Martin? What's happened? Um, you haven't got anything this week. Have we? No! Have you got a guess with you today? Oh, um... Watch this as we go. Uh, no, he's gone. Oh. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Good. Shame the weather's not a bit better, but oh it's, well. At least it's humid, isn't it? Yeah, Something. yeah. So, um... So what are we doing? Oh, well, we're just, you know, just out on the streets, uh, just sort of educating people on how As to... Usual. Yeah. And educating people how to uh, prevent pickpocketers. Yeah? So how do you do that? Uh, would, you, would you like to see it? Yeah, go on. Well, it's actually... You can do that. It's more of a, um, it's more of a... How to confuse a pickpocket, yeah? So, um, it's a lot easier to do that than to actually prevent it. So, if I were to, uh, I, I normally keep my phone in my back pocket, just so you know, I've nothing here, uh, there's nothing here, all right, there's nothing here. I won't do the elephant trick. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So, uh, we'll pop, pop these back in, there. pop these back in. Empty pockets, okay? Now, um, I keep my phone in my back pocket, yes? Um, they, say, no, yeah. they, they say you should keep your phone in your front pocket because it's easier to pick from the back pocket, yes? Yes. But I don't do that and there's a problem because I always forget which pocket I put it in. Oh yeah, yeah. it's over here. Um, the problem is, is a pickpocket will pick it no matter which pocket you put it in. I sometimes put it in my back pocket even though I said don't, yeah? <laughs> but I keep my phone here but I always forget which pocket I put it in. That's magic. That's magic. Sometimes, do you ever forget which pocket you put it in? I always forget. Yeah, um, hang on a minute. Have you seen it? It starts by embracing, of course. No, it's here where I put it at the start. You want to miss that? You missed it. We'll have yeah, to do was, it again. I was uh, zooming in on your face. Oh, you shouldn't. Sorry. Sometimes I feel like this phone is a part of me. Oh, that's okay. Then. Yeah, but which part? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen it anywhere? Oh. Well. Sorry, someone's calling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused, are you two? That's how to pick a pocket true. <laughs> Thank um, you. That was a very good trick, Christian. Hopefully. <laughs> so you're doing a gig tomorrow, are you? Where's that gig? No, no gigs. No, just um, hanging out with other ma magicians and uh, uh -huh. yeah, throwing ideas around. So, so what's on tomorrow? Um, Cornish Magic Society's uh, close-up competition. Uh -huh. Hopefully give that one a go. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and yeah, a bit of fun. Nice one. Thanks, thanks a lot, Christine. Cheers. Uh, have you got have you seen Malcolm anyway? Uh... Oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> Hello, welcome to PlymCon. Yes, Plymouth's very own one-day convention. Yes, I went, we, to, I went out for a meal with the head oh, of Microsoft yeah. yesterday, Malcolm. Mm. We had silicon chips. What did the farmer say when he uh, couldn't find his tractor? <laughs> Anyone know. seen my tractor? <laughs> oh, he's yeah, that's how bad it was. That's, that's, that's how bad the James is. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd the monkey yeah. fall out of a tree? It's, um, it's, it's, he was dead. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, he's armless. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we've got um, prediction. Uh -huh. These are all going to. Uh, what are we predicting? Be part of the uh, prediction. I like uh, the tape. Is it from the Al uh, from Alaska? Oh uh, no, it's from uh, Argos, I think. <laughs> a, a deck of no, playing you went, cards. You went to the shop and you couldn't find the table, so you asked her at Alaska. Uh, oh, right. Sure uh, 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 Sorry, a deck of playing cards. Whose show is this? I went with W.H. Smith yesterday, I said, you keep stationary. She said, no, I'll move around a bit. <laughs> I said, you take anything off for cash? She said, everything bar me earrings. <laughs> uh, Bryce, let's take out the uh, jokers. Ooh. One of the joker in the box. Two jokers. Uh, we'll just use the one joker. Is that the wild card? Yeah, uh, it's going to be wild today, yes. Oh, there's the other joker. That explains a great deal. Um, young passing person who I've never met before. Steve. 
We don't know each other, do we? No, we don't. Right, okay. Now, Dad, I am going to um, just riffle down the cards like this. I want you to just say stop whenever you like. Stop just whenever you like. Pop the card in. Don't push it all the way in. That's just our little marker. Now, so that I can't do anything suspicious, I'm going to turn it face up so that you can see that uh, everything is above board and we're going to use the card that is either side of that so we've chosen or well you've chosen at random two playing cards the three of hearts and the two of spades now Steve I have two tokens as you can see here this one's got a circle on it this one's got a square on it yeah. I would like you to place one token on one card and one token on the other card. Okay, so you've put the circle on the two of spades and the square on the three of hearts. Now at this point, we've chosen two random cards and you've put these randomly on these two cards. Do you wish to swap them around? Because it could make a, a heck of a difference to the outcome of the trick. No, you're happy keeping the circle on the two of spades yeah. and the square on the three of hearts. Yeah. Absolutely certain that you don't want to change your mind. Absolutely certain. <sighs> You're gonna wish that you had changed your mind because in here I have it's not famous work. two playing cards. One of them is a three of hearts with a square in it. The other, ladies and gentlemen, is a two of spades with a circle. Yes. <laughs> Burn him. Uh, I thank you. <laughs> Mal Norton's trick of the week. Trick of the week. Thank you very much, Mal Norton, and Christian, and Steve. Cheers. Well, nice to meet you, and um, thanks for stopping. Um, you, would you like to meet Hank the Magic Rabbit? Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I keep him in my top pocket. Okay. He doesn't look that much. This, this is a very, a very old trick. This one. You may have seen it before. Um, where you uh, you dress up the rabbit like this. Doesn't look like much, but get ready. Get ready. Okay. See? Okay. He's okay. me. Yeah. <laughs> Hank. <laughs> Met Hank before. <laughs> it's lovely. Go on, give him a strength. Hello, Hank. Very nice you. to meet you. <laughs> Come on, give him a <laughs> Yeah, I know. Sorry. I had no idea he'd do that. Um, he's lovely, though, isn't he? The Vanishing Rabbit Trick's an old one. <laughs> okay. have, have you seen the uh, purple snake trick? Oh, it's, no. a fam it's a family show. We won't. We won't do that one. Um, the tulip's a good one. See? Can you smell it? No, no. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. I know you wouldn't want to. Be careful, <laughs> yes. But look, what, if you watch closely, the vanishing rabbit trick. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> amazing. Well, oh, brilliant. Excellent. Thanks for stopping. Well Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> Oh. Hello, Malcolm. Hello, hello, camera. So this is the yeah, smallest magic shop in in the world. The smallest magic shop in the world. So small, I've had to get a miniaturised cat so I can swing it. Because uh -huh. it's um. And what do you sell in here? What do I sell in here? Um, it's down South Side Street. Uh, oh, what do I sell in here? Well, well we've jacket. got um, antiques and uh, no, we sell magic. Uh -huh. Professional prestigitation. Kits and magic tricks, magic props. Anything you. If you're a magician, you need this shop. And what are the price ranges? Anything from free on a good day to what's the most expensive thing I have here? On, free on a good day. Free, free. Occasionally give things away. <laughs> <laughs> or you can have uh, uh, antique props like the vanishing bird cage. Uh -huh. and what have you got in here then? What have I got in here? Well, you see, there's a vanishing bird cage which you can't see because it's vanished. <laughs> um, well, there's a peering bird cage that's appeared. Yeah. And what's the magic flask? Magic flask? Oh, that's a that's a cheap trick. Three pound fifty. Even you could do that. <laughs> well, well, maybe. 
Yeah, even you could do that. It's full. I'm not good at cards. I can't even have the patience. No, uh, if you're a doctor, you wouldn't have any patience. Or would you? Maybe you would. <laughs> Depends which doctor. Which doctor? Doctor Who. <laughs> this could be a very silly conversation. Yeah, I think we better just uh, do a sales pitch on your magic shop. Yeah. How, how long have you been up and running? Um, I don't run, okay? <laughs> Let's get that out of the get equation the there, okay? You mean, you see no, this? A bit of a, um... <laughs> no running. Uh, no, no, I've, no. I've been uh, doing my thing for longer than I care to remember. You were saying at school you uh, left school and you had your kit with you? Oh, You've done a magic on, trick on the last day of school. On the last day of school, as I got on the bus with all my magic props that I'd been showing people all day, they were playing Ho Ho Ho, It's Magic. <laughs> the day I left school. And you haven't looked back since, really, have you? No, I can't. I've got a quick neck. <laughs> so, if people want to buy your magic tricks, you've got a website which we've already talked about. Uh, you could go to www.topsecretmagic.com. Co.uk Or you could go and look at my own I got a really bad neck. Oh, oh, can you do that again? Uh, can I do that again? Uh, <laughs> <sighs> the action time is slightly out there. What? Oh sorry, let's try that again there. That was better. <laughs> Thanks very much Mark. I'll bet he doesn't edit that. No, probably won't. Thanks for that, Mark him anyway. You can buy these. Three pounds fifty. £3.50. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Fool your friends! And if you haven't got any friends, uh, you're probably a magician. <laughs> or me. Uh, or, Filmmaker. Or, or, or a cameraman. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's about you asking about being a cameraman anyway. You're a world of your own that no one else can share. <sighs> How sad. Uh, thank you very much, Markham, anyway. Of uh, course, you look outside the shop and all the customers are all happy talking. Yeah, people like talking to visual before something. Yeah. Talking to one another. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Till then. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. I turn myself around now I look back in the screen
This has been a Chris Summerfield Media Production 2016. You can contact me, sponsor me, and support me through PayPal at ChristopherSummerfield at gmail.com. Thanks for watching this video. It's about life, it's about art, it's about being creative.